What's up? Here we go with Wednesday. I'm drinking some wine. I'm gonna try to see if I can drink like two bottles. I already got one and two right here. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's strong. I'm not sure whose twisted idea it was to put hundreds of adolescents in underfunded schools. <laughs> I like how everybody's so colorful and she's not. <laughs> <laughs> I want names. It happened so fast. Pugsley, emotion equals weakness. Pull yourself together. <laughs> I did not know this girl had powers. What the hell? <laughs> the only person who gets to torture my brother is me. <laughs> they already knew what was up. What a way to start this freaking show off, bro. <laughs> now, I've never seen the Adams Family's movies, but I know about the Adams Family. That had to be probably one of the best Netflix show, like intros I've ever seen, man. I wish they would've did the like, the snap though. Yo, I've been in love with Catherine Zeta-Jones ever since Zorro, man. <laughs> Why are they flying right into the car? like god damn bro where that car come from now i do remember before the show came out that there was some controversy going on about uh the father and people were upset that i guess he was hispanic or something i i always felt like the adams family was hispanic guy who played in the movie he was hispanic so i think that they were just upset about the casting and uh the fact that i guess this dude who's the father isn't like super attractive or whatever Why are you out here by yourself, sir? The boy almost made me spit up. <laughs> it was the day of the week you were born. I was born on Friday the 13th. Her name comes from a line <laughs> from my favorite nursery rhyme. Wednesday's child is full of woe. Did your mother tell you we were roommates back in the day? And you graduated with your sanity intact? Damn, why well, you gotta be mean about your mom like that? <laughs> I heard that Jenna Ortega like trained herself to barely blink. Therapist in Jericho. She can meet twice a week. Did you hear that, my little storm cloud? You're an excellent ass. We'll see if she survives the first session. <laughs> I guess Wednesday's goal is to make everybody miserable. How did y'all raise this girl? <gasps> it's so <laughs> vivid. Look at that girl face. She was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> Rumi. Wednesday, this is Enid Sinclair. Are you feeling okay? She like, give me nine feet or I'm a freaking roundhouse kick you. Those are the fangs, AKA vampires. Some of them have literally been here for decades. And that girl, Bianca Barclay, is the closest thing Nevermore has to royalty. Bro, what the hell is this school? Shoot, Edward should have came here. I actually play the bodies of my victims then feed them to my menagerie of pets. Ajax, this my is my God, you know Ortega's fine as hell, bro. Like a living Instagram filter. Ignore him. Gorgon spent way too much time getting stoned. Ah, uh, I get that. Ah, uh, that's nice. This girl, Jenna Ortega, is killing it already, bro. It's like perfect casting. Seeing you in this uniform brings back so many terrible memories, doesn't it, Tish? Yes. <laughs> the best kind. Pugsley, you'll never survive without me. I give you two months, tops. I'm gonna miss you too, sis. <laughs> well, I mean, why don't they bring him to the school too? Any plans you have of running away and right now? You have nowhere to go. As usual, you underestimate me, mother. Seem like I need to go to family therapy. I wonder if there's actually a therapist that can handle the adult family. I got you a little something. W. M. It's made of obsidian. Which one of your spirits suggested this toe curling chalk? Come on, mom. That look like sterling silver. Are you serious? I know you ain't cheap like that. That's disrespectful. Don't worry, my love. Our little scorpion won't be alone. 
<laughs> there go the hand. So how do they communicate with the hand? I guess sign language? Where's the rest of them? Well, the Oh my God. Arm, we found a leg by the lake. There's an arm in that tree over there and the rest of the parts are so far unaccounted for. Why did they get to show it? I devote an hour a day to my novel. Perhaps if you did the same, your blog might be coherent. This girl is really using a typewriter. <laughs> they respond to your stories with insipid little pictures. You mean emojis? It's how people express their feelings. You know, I realize that's a foreign concept to you. Mm, that was a great shot. When I look at you, the following emojis come to mind. Rope, shovel, hole, bees and atoms. <laughs> if you're going to gossip about me, Damn, I'm just going to let her threaten you like that? That's great. Oh, now turn that shit off. Wanted to make sure that Wednesday was settling hey, in. Hey, the Wednesday from the movie. I did not think she was going to be in the show. That's crazy. Uh, is this a bad time? <laughs> Apologies, I wasn't here to greet you when you arrived. I trust Enid has given you the old never more welcome. She's been smothering me with hospitality. I hope to return the favor in her sleep. Oh, yo, that is the ultimate cameo. I wonder if we're going to get the other family members from the movie. Oh, the black suit. Oh, that's amazing. You must be the psychopath they let in. And you must be the self-appointed queen bee. Interesting thing about bees. Pull out their stingers and they drop dead. Oh. <laughs> Bro, I've always wanted to fence. Can Winner draws first blood. <laughs> you can't let her do this. Okay, I'm liking this choreography. Oh! Oh, come on. Damn, I really thought Wednesday was going to win. That's embarrassing. You can't let her freaking do you like that Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> what the hell just happened? How she get knocked out like that? Welcome back. Just take it easy. <laughs> the nurse said you don't have a concussion, but you probably have a girl was really laying problem. like she was in a coffin. Well, and then I looked up and I saw that gargoyle coming down at me and I thought, well, at least I'll have an imaginative death. Then you tackled me out of the way. Why? Because I'm the, the boy love interest. Godmother's funeral. We were 10 and we were bored. Decided to play hide and seek. I had the inspired idea to hide in her casket. And I got stuck as it was headed to the crematorium. <laughs> I had heard muffled screams. I just figured your godmother had somehow cheated death and was trying to claw her way out. I guess. I was hoping there wasn't going to be any type of this going on. But hey, maybe I'm just being a little too eager. Shoot, I ain't trying to have anybody take my girl from me. <laughs> I knew it. Hello, thing. <laughs> Surrender. <laughs> Boy almost peed himself. I didn't even know the hand's name was Thing. The relationship I found most intriguing was that of Viper and her mother, Dominica. I'm actually pretty surprised by this therapist myself. Would you mind if I use the powder room first? What is this, 1920? Okay. Is everything okay? Hey, I just got in here, girl. Oh, there's a window. That's what's up. I was about to say, go through the toilet like Dave Chappelle. Let you out. You got that weirdo. Talking about me, man. Look at you, bitch. Holy crap. <laughs> Do you make a habit of scaring the hell out of people? It's more of a hobby. <laughs> good and never more. All we have is drip. But drip is for people who hate themselves and know their lives have no real purpose or meaning. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you're right about that. Let me get up out of here. <laughs> Where you have one of these monsters at home? Steam-powered guillotine. I built it when I was 10. I wanted to decapitate my dolls more efficiently. <laughs> Grammy for Barbie. Makes perfect sense. I wonder what they came up with the idea for the Adams family. This is crazy. Have these this family just be so like opposite from everybody else. It's dark. What happened? 
Damn that girl talk. Oh, oh come on. Look at Y'all just come in picking a fight? Really? It takes a special kind of stupid to devote an entire theme park to zealots responsible for mass genocide. My dad owns Pilgrim World. Wow, that is a surprise. That <laughs> his father owns Pilgrim World. Yo, I did not know Wednesday had them hands. <laughs> Ooh. That girl like Mr. Fantastic, because I know damn well that dude was like super far away from her short ass. Yo, the disrespect here is crazy. Now she's about to have more fun here, so she's excited about that. Well, looks like an accident. I hope the driver's okay. He's dead. Broke his neck. Oh my God. Come on, Tim Burton. Golly. Oh, this dude got the force? Okay. Do not tell me this girl Wednesday is part of a prophecy. <laughs> so, so far we got two interesting stories going on right now. This murder mystery and whatever Wednesday is doing. She's like, oh, I remember when I used to play the cello. She's making me proud. How the hell did you get that oversized violin out the window? Cause I'm the main character, bitch. I can do whatever I want. My mom says some wolves are late bloomers, but I've been to the best lichenologist. Had to fly to Milwaukee, would you believe it? Oh, you're a werewolf too? Wow. Yeah, okay. she says there's a chance I might never. We're definitely gonna be seeing that in the show. She's gonna turn to a werewolf. <laughs> ran Nero over until so I vowed to never do it again I have a feeling she's probably gonna cry in this show uh that's thing is he like your pet <laughs> sensitive okay I know nevermore is <laughs> the boy said you can pet these nuts I ain't no pet <laughs> Yo, if y'all was going to this school, Nevermore, uh, which group would y'all like to be a part of? Like me, I would like to be a werewolf. <laughs> Why are you just staring at me like that? What are you doing here? You should know I'm waiting for someone. Oh yeah, who's the lucky guy? Or girl? What does it matter to you? I mean, I'm trying to spit my game. That's why. I wanted you to have this. It's your dad's police file from when he was in Nevermore. I'm not used to people engaging with me. Mostly me coming in across the street. You're not scary, you're just kind of... I wonder why, because you about fine as hell, even though you are weird. Why? What are y'all doing here? This is so crazy. What, like, this is lame. What the hell is that? I can see how this show catches a lot of people's attention because these visions are crazy. Rowan, wait! Ah, what do you want? I'm guessing he might be like the villain or something. I don't know. I think you've got it backwards. Yeah, because I was just about to assume. You want to kill me because of some picture? Put me down. No, my mother said it was my destiny to stop this girl if she ever came to Nevermore because she will destroy the school and everyone in it. Wow, I didn't think I would see this girl Wednesday scared like this. <laughs> oh, th well, that's the vision. <laughs> my goodness. Yo, this is cool, bro. <laughs> I did not think this show was gonna be this damn good. As much as it pains me to admit, you were right, mother. I think I'm going to love it here. <laughs> <laughs> that ending shot was badass. I like this. This story is about to take a dark turn. It was already dark, girl. You're telling me it's about to get darker? Like when the carousel breaks mysteriously failed at my eighth birthday party. Not yeah, mysteriously. One. Come on now. And it was your birthday? Come on, we already you know. That was a freaking birthday gift to yourself. My guess is Ron ran away. The state troopers have put out an alert and I've contacted his family, but they haven't heard from him either. Dead people are notoriously bad at returning calls. I like that line. That was fire. Someone is trying to cover up Rowan's murder. 
That's the only reason to scrub the crime scene. Is that your professional opinion as the daughter of a murderer? My father is twice the man you are. And the only thing he murders is the occasional opera in the shower. <laughs> the disrespect, man. Let your dad enjoy singing in the shower, man. <laughs> I thought that should probably be having your ears bleeding though, but come on now. Sheriff, what? You're gonna wanna see this. Damn, does anybody knock? I told you he wasn't dead. Help me understand why you would claim you witnessed a murder. Was it to gain attention? Why should I bother telling you anything? You've already decided I'm lying. I mean, well, it's hard to believe her when we actually get to do the live, so. He was my first crush. Wednesday, part of the reason your parents sent you to Nevermore is so that you could find your people. Hey, she actually has a crush? Wow, I, I feel some type of way about that. You know, for the record, I believe you. Man, of course you do, man. You're just trying to get it on, bro. Well, I think he might be the monster. Uh, Miss Thornhill's just ordered pizza. Yeah. You want to take a stab at being social? I do like stabbing. The social part, not so much. Or you can just glare uncomfortably. Whatever works for you. <laughs> they got great casting for this show, man. Maybe it's time to lean into it. I don't even know how you saw that. I would not be able to see something like that. I wonder how Wednesday would be in, in Hogwarts. I took the liberty of putting together a list of clubs that have openings. How thoughtful. You need to have picked one by the end of the day. I'll be keeping my eye on you. No doubt you'll find something that- Man, you're gonna keep both eyes on me, man, without blinking. Go ahead, them shit's wide. Like, ah, Lee, back up. You're staring at me and shit. I can't even go to the bathroom. Girl be looking at me under the door. I'm like, girl, can I take a shit, please? <laughs> your performance at the Harvest Festival? The drama club might be more your speed. After I passed out, who did you tell? Girl, who lined sure. you up? <laughs> uh, what are you? Alto, soprano? Or just loco. <laughs> Shoot, hey, at least I'm not dumb enough to freaking have fake contacts on me. What was that? A note only dogs can hear. Did she just sing that? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you interested in the ancient art of beekeeping? Hell no, nah, nerd. Am I late or is it only you? The hive life isn't for everyone. Most kids are afraid of venomous insects. Are you willing to feel the sting? I mean, look at her. She's standing right here out in the open with no suit on. Bees have been producing honey in the same way. Yo, she worked in that outfit, bro. You shouldn't be here. Yeah, back off and leave me alone. What the hell is going on here, man? And this dude over here acting like there's nothing going on. Dude, I'm not crazy like that. <laughs> How did you not see this dude, man? Look down. The mystery just keep getting bigger, man. There's an open spot next to me. If you can stand sitting that close to an elitist snob. Man, you are a bitch, bro. Every single time I talk to you, you just fucking complaining. <laughs> oh, that's fire. That's your power? Okay. Then I'll just get that book and go like, eh, fuck your power, bitch. This is the most girls I've ever had in the shed, other than bees. Shocking. <laughs> I've always had a thing for werewolf chicks. The chance that Enid ever becomes romantically interested in you is less than 1%. So I'm still gonna sh You don't know, he might get some game. <laughs> in ancient times, honey was used to treat wounds and in sacrificial burial rites. Now you just fucked it up. I'm sorry. Yep. Now you, you have zero chance. What are you doing here? I came out here to find something that can prove he was murdered and that I haven't lost my mind yet. But why would somebody shapeshift as Rowan, though? I don't usually find students in here looking for actual books. <laughs> Most sneak in to make out. I accidentally walked. I was just about to say that. I accidentally walked in on two vampires fanging. I can't unsee that. Is there something that that is gross. Find? Like, wow. Thank you, Wednesday. I didn't want to hear that. The nightshades. Like the deadly flower. Any of y'all ever seen the Invisible Man bang, though? That's crazy. Are you and your mother close? 
you should already know. You've been in my place. To tell you the truth, I've never really fit in anywhere. Too odd for the normies. Not. I, I think she's a part of this, man. She has to have some play in this. It's like, damn, girl, I can't see. <laughs> I can't wait to crush Ophelia Hall tomorrow and watch her werewolf roommate crumble. Shoot, I mean, hey, she, you got the cake, so, you know, you got a little something better than her. Yeah, and you wonder why I broke up with you. You used to love my killer instinct. She should get that mama mentality on that dick. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. We're all set. Good. Things in position. You want to tell me what you two were up to all night? And spoil the surprise? Speaking of surprises, your costume's in the tent. Costume? OMG. <laughs> yeah, that looks amazing. <laughs> this looks like something that'll be in Hogwarts. The run to the litter. For the record. Hey, at least I don't look like a prostitute. Posing like the focus is all on her. Girl, we ain't here for you. Oh, excuse us. This reminds me of Stuart Little, man. So that's what we're doing. We're cheating. Okay. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> what type of game is this? How is that allowed? Really, y'all that easily distracted? Come on now. She's right there. Come on. See, Jenna Ortega looking good in that outfit though. You were the key. Taking a cat nap? <laughs> See, you know how it is, you know, feel me? When you better than everybody else, I can slack off a bit. That's what I'm talking about, thing, a real one. That boy coming in with the clutch. <laughs> That's what it's like. <laughs> Damn, all right, thing. Didn't know you had it like that. The first poker took place in 1897. Perseverance and determination. Congratulations to us. Now I got a question for my filmmaker fans. Who do you feel like actually did the best job when it comes to uh, performing the Kubrick stare? Cause I know that's another one of the things that Jenna Ortega was training to do for this character. Yes. It's good to see you fitting in, just like your mother. My mother and I are two entirely different people slash species slash everything. <laughs> How? April, a self-seeding flower. Shoot, that raven looking like, girl, you better be careful. Yeah! <laughs> the snap, that's what I'm talking about. Great reference. Secret societies, hidden libraries. My mother staring at me in a judgmental way. Oh, that's cool. I like that photo. I don't know why your dad kept that hairstyle though. It looked ridiculous. Looked like he got on a toupee. Wow. That's interesting that that's the exact book that she picked up. But the minute I inch towards the truth, luckily, I'm not afraid of the dark. <laughs> okay, episode two was fantastic. Probably better than episode one, man. I hope that y'all enjoyed this one. Let's go ahead and get into episode three now, man. I wonder what is up with this woe. So far, I think every episode has had the word woe in the title. There's a riddle? I thought we just snapped twice. <laughs> Well, aren't you the brightest in the bunch? Kids are an elite. <laughs> what are we gonna do with her? Only members are allowed in this library. Well, make me a member now, because I'm gonna come back. Let me save you the trouble. I'm not interested in joining. You're seriously turning us down? Can you believe it? Well, that sounds like Wednesday. Y'all surprised? Go. <laughs> Great start to this episode, bro. It's amateurs like you who give kidnapping a bad name. <laughs> I would love to know how Wednesday would go about kidnapping. I trust you will all put your best face forward. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, damn, we don't even have a face. <laughs> I caught your rooftop serenade the other night. I volunteered you to accompany the Jericho High School marching band at the ceremony. What? Why are you touching my shit? Why are you staring at a blank wall? It wasn't blank last outreach day. Are you still staring because I rejected your invitation? I don't know. I did go out on a limb for you. Oh, please. I'm just cannon fodder and whatever. I'm not liking this dude. I, I'm not liking it. He is a straight bitch, man. He's dead. I don't know why you care so much. It's not like you knew the guy. I'm not sure why you care so little. People can try and dismiss me. I wonder why he chose the principal out of all people to shapeshift in the end. You didn't seem surprised when I showed you this last night. You've seen it before, haven't you? He was open on Ron's desk, so I just assumed he stole it after we kicked him out of the nightshade. My God, Jenna Ortega is so freaking fine, man. It's weird that you're in this. I mean, this journal is like, what, 30 years old? And what the hell is Crackstone doing in a picture with you? You know who that is? Yeah, it's Joseph Crackstone. It's like Jericho's founding father. It's kind of a big deal around here. Yeah, look, that's him. Oh, I thought it was gonna be the principal. The person was tall as hell. Why would I agree to spend the entire day at some dumpy emporium of Prepola? Because Ajax is going to be volunteering there. Things sneak to peek at his assignment. But if you're not interested... No! Oh my god, thank you! You're the best! <laughs> I, I thought I wasn't gonna like this girl at first, but she is pretty cool. Good morrow. This is so lame. My young nevermore kin. I am Mistress Arlene, a real OC. <laughs> Original colonist. Okay, I appreciate that, OG, triple OG. Local artist scooped that fella up right here on Route 22. You're telling me someone actually goes out and collects roadkill and turns them into that? Can't keep them on the shelves. Gotta I was just about to say, I knew it. That's the girl that's in uh the Rings of Power show. She's the dwarven queen. She naturally has great hair. That's what's up. No need to pay for that overpriced hipster swill. I'm brewing chaga. It's my own blend. Mushroom tea. I forged the little buggers myself. I know this girl is ecstatic. She's been in two major properties this year. That's amazing. <laughs> this girl always get on some sunglasses. Why? I am authentic pilgrim fudge as cacao bunen, but so can the unte directe una bona de Amazonas. Alla einen nehmen dazu, dass er amselige Schüsschen für bereit der Amerikanischen Geschichte auch fress zu erhalten. Übrigens, Fudge wurde erst 258 Jahre später. <laughs> no, she didn't. <laughs> Check out this greedy little freak. Oh. Yo. Uh-uh. What the hell? And they are really gonna try it again. Come on now, man. Get her. No. When are you gonna learn? Thank you for your generous donation to my re-election campaign. Consider it a token of our ongoing cooperation. Are they getting it on? Nobody's ever stood up for me before. You said Hummer stick together. Mm -hmm. She sees him as shock. her brother, Pugsy, or whatever his name is. Pugsley? Something? Pug Pugsley? I'm sorry, it's the wine talking. I can't really talk. Codex Umbarum. That's Latin for Book of Shadows. Great. It's a fake. I don't know who Etsy is, but I doubt she was an outcast settler. <laughs> Now, Etsy is fire, man. If a lot of people want to know, Etsy is one of the uh, websites I get a lot of my shirts from. You know, by the way, I totally she is adorable. scratched out the bottom of our boat at Poke Up. All that pressure. You realize this is like the longest conversation we've ever had. All right, now you just made it weird. Come on, girl, you was going the right direction. I'm not afraid of being stoned by you. It's just temporary. Really? This bitch crazy. One hundo. So, um... Hell no, I'm not about to get stoned by this dude, man. This dude stoned me, I'm whooping his ass. Wait, so, you wanna meet up behind the greenhouse tonight? Yes. Yes, I do. Hey, AJ. Shoot, both of y'all hey, gonna get stoned. Y'all know what I'm talking about, even though that kinda doesn't sound right. But hey, hey, just think of it in a, a different type of way. You, you'll get it, you'll get it, you'll get it. I know my way around the great outdoors. Don't tell me you were a Girl Scout. I can eat Girl Scouts for breakfast. 
Actually, I have an uncle who went to prison for that. This girl's a cannibal? Wow. Well, we learned another thing about her. Uh, I still will try to get with her, though. Shoot, we both could be eating each other. Ha <laughs> ha! Ha <laughs> ha! My goodness. This is my place. Get out! Thing a hand here. Grab his nuts. The beard? No, you gotta grab his nuts. No, I can't just touch something. My vision seemed to happen spontaneously. <laughs> of course a girl that looks like Wednesday will be freaking threatened as a witch. It is you, Joseph Crackstone, that should be tried. Yeah, especially for that hair style, man. That look whack. You are the true monster, all of you. Don't do this in front of everybody, girl. Yeah, yeah, you're dead. So many innocent women died. He won't stop until he's killed us all. There will be no escape for you. I bet you that dude is like a warlock or something. Must have been the bearded man from earlier. Hey, yo, no, it's gonna be jump scare. I knew it. <laughs> That's a weird looking monster, man. What type of monster is that? I was following the monster. You saw it? It's here? Do you have a death wish or something? I don't think what the is monster is him, here? even though him being here is sus. I do think you might be right about Rowan. Quite the sudden change of heart. I texted him again today. Said maybe we could meet up over spring break and go snowboarding like we did last year. This time he texted right back. You really friends with that weirdo? Only you never went snowboarding last year. Oh, okay, okay. I thought nothing scared me, but that was- Ooh, I like this piece of music right here, bro. Makes me feel like I'm in a different dimension. Oh, this song, yeah, I heard this song on TikTok. I know y'all saw this, man. Now y'all don't want to say nothing until this whole statue is burning down. Oh! Oh! That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. It just had to take photos of that whole moment. I knew it. I knew she was a part of this. No. Damn, that's messed up. You missed this date. That's crazy. I didn't know that Medusa could stone herself. Why are you balling up the paper like that? The sheriff thinks they only exist behind the walls of this school. So you're just wasting water, but okay. Not even washing yourself. Still got dirt between the crack and on your balls. Are the most dangerous. <laughs> they don't need teeth and claws to terrify. Man, what was you doing? Getting it on, bro? And then that girl just sliced you on your neck? The hell? Hey, let's go ahead and get to episode, what? what is it, four now? Let's go. Dr. That boy been getting hella shine. Oh, what the hell is that, Dookie? No. So I guess this is an early Christmas for Wednesday. Subject has been almost entirely disemboweled. This is curious. Subject's left foot is missing. The boy love him some feet, but he only like the left foot though. It tastes a little different. Full rigor. You've been dead a while. Guess you won't mind waiting another day for me to cut you open. <laughs> Yo, that's a great hiding spot. <laughs> Yo, that's definitely Wednesday right there. Five more minutes. I was just getting comfortable. <laughs> Wow. 
Whoa, what a night. What is up with this word, whoa? When I suggested giving your side of the room a makeover, I did not have Ted Bundy's Pinterest in mind. Still not as creepy as your stuffed unicorn collection. I thought Wednesday would probably be more into H.H. Holmes instead of Ted Bundy. Once the plant is pollinated, what do the male insects get in exchange? Child support. <laughs> You're not doing a good job of hiding that scar. You could have wore a turtleneck or something and have a heat stroke. We need to do this. See if you didn't get those scratches from fence. I love that shot, bro. That's a thumbnail right there. Xavier, you just became that much more interesting. So maybe this dude has dreams of this monster. Like, I really don't think the monster is him. They're trying to make it seem like the monster is him, but I know the monster is going to be somebody. We're going to be like, what? I didn't know. Why are you really out here? Is this about a certain dance that makes you want to poke needles into your eyes, perhaps? Sometimes Man, nobody don't want to dance with you, bitch. Opportunity. If this was my chance to get up close and personal with a potential, be complaining and stuff, bro. Sound like a freaking kid. <laughs> Wednesday, Adams is going to the Raven. My oh, I love this there. shot here too. This looks like something that would be in like an anime or something. You need something that screams first date. Stand back, bitches! I have arrived. Well, I have more pressing business than to worry about a stupid dress for a dance I don't even want to attend. But I thought we were bonding. We've been bonding for the last three episodes. Don't want to ask what trouble you're in now. Nothing I can't handle. Bro, why are you the always- in particularly frustrating form today. Actually, I was forced to ask someone as an act of self-preservation. Hope you two have fun. I'm not sure why you're becoming upset. Yeah, why are we having problem. some weird I mean, love crazy. triangle right now? You keep giving me these signals. It's not my fault I can't interpret- What signals? She ain't doing shit. <laughs> You the one who appear out of nowhere almost every single time. I mean, am I in the more than friend zone or just a pawn in some game you're playing? You're Still not right even now. in the friend zone. I need to prioritize. Thanks for clearing that up. I guess give me a call if I ever move up your to-do list. Who the hell this guy think he is? We barely spent any time together. Are you serious? And you definitely not taking my girl away from me. What the fuck? This is definitely its lair. Are those? Human? No, I think it's got a taste for venison. Check this out. I've seen something like that. I'm talking about like in another movie. So they're afraid to transform into whatever they're you're going to transform into. So you just happen to draw pictures of it? Down to the location of its lair in the woods? You were in here before when I caught you outside. That's the only reason you asked me to the Raven, isn't it? Why are you acting so stupid? I thought he already knew that she was in here. I mean, do you even care about anyone or, or anything at all, Wednesday? My God, you are a bitch, bro. Get out. Are you about to cry now? Are you serious? Every freaking time I talk to you, you complaining about something. I'm proud of this girl, Wednesday. I didn't even think she was gonna be this interested in solving a crime mystery. You know, I figured since neither you nor I have a date to the dance. We should go together. What? No. I was going to suggest we stock out the cave and identify the monster. <laughs> you have no chance, sir. I hear you might be free tomorrow night after all. You got a booger in your nose. <laughs> Come on, I can't tell me I didn't see that booger in her nose. Uh, got your invite. You don't even go to the Good school. I mean, your note was so genuine and sweet. Totally took me by surprise. Me too. Then it wasn't genuine if it was sweet. How could you do this to me? This boy really set her up like this. Okay, I see you think. Did you pay for it? You're like, pay for it? I stole that shit. <laughs> Girl look like she need to be in Whoville. Oh my God, you can't say that. It's offensive. The correct name is Yeti. How? Sorry. When you go here. Really? I thought Yeti would have been offensive. Okay. The theme of our last dance was Hawaiian Nights. Yeti teeny? Yeah. What the hell is that shirt? Oh my God. Oh, it matches because your shirt was already stained. So, you know, you're fine. You know? That That's not a good sight. 
Yo! <laughs> and he's having the best time with me. We are both loving this dance. I can see that. You're on your knees already at the dance. That boy gets stoned. <laughs> Thank you. Why are you in front of my face, sir? Why are you bringing this up? As if this pants weren't tedious enough. Because you don't know what he did to me. I don't give a fuck. I'm just here trying to solve a crime and y'all over here trying to date me. I understand I'm fine as hell, but like, come on now. I'm not here for y'all. Was it the That's a great Dinh shot. Nair or the Yeti teen? Golly, Jenner Ortega is so freaking fine. So tell me what you did last oh year. God. Hey, you and your friends assaulted him and destroyed his mural on outreach day. One of my goals is to get famous and either talk to Jenner Ortega or Zendaya, but I can't talk to Zendaya no more. Zendaya's far gone her and that dude tom holland they they talking about some serious stuff now i got sent away to this boot camp and realized that's not the version of myself i want to be bitter townie that blames everyone else for the shitty hand he's been dealt look i did a terrible thing but i swear i'm not a terrible person i'm sorry i was not paying attention what <laughs> oh she's really dancing Oh snap, this is like the TV show. Oh snap, she got that Prince look. Oh, oh snap. <laughs> this is coming out of nowhere. Yo. When I show up. That's what I'm talking about Wednesday. You better get it. I mean, it's good that we know she likes to get down, bro. Oh, snap. It's like the original. She really did that dance move. <laughs> you better die when I show up. Boy, if you don't dance with her, she is really showing out right here. <laughs> Yeah, you hating, bitch? I know, that could have been you, but you've been crying all freaking season. That was definitely one of the best parts of this whole show. You're the whole reason we're even doing this, to get revenge on those freaks for nuking Crackstone's fountain. Are oh, they about to do a carry moment? <laughs> She's like, hell yeah, now this party freaking turned up. Yeah, this is looking like Blade right here. They couldn't even Was that Kool Aid? Pig's blood. <laughs> it's only paint. Paint? Ew, but you still put that in your mouth. Dude, but she don't give a damn. What the hell are you doing, man? I was just texting my dad. He's on his way. Wait, wait, have you seen Wednesday? I lost her. How should I know where she is? She's your date. Man, you a bitch, bruh. <laughs> Every single time I see this dude, I just call him a bitch, bro. I hate this dude, man. Eugene? Damn, R.I.P. Eugene, man. Oh my God. The hell are you doing here? Is he alive? Why is she here? <laughs> I really think, I'm telling you, she has something to do with this whole thing. But yo. This was fantastic. Probably one of the best episodes out of the whole series. Let's go ahead and get to episode five, everybody. Let's get it. Second bottle. <laughs> that looked like that was self-defense. That dude said, I never heard of toothpaste. Nevermore was gosh, creation so as a fun. safe Talk about toxic pack mentality. I give my mom 30 seconds before her judgy claws come out. Who the hell she gonna be judging? Look at that outfit. Are you serious? Look like she wearing your damn rug. Probably sunning herself somewhere in the seashells. My darling daughter, I made it. Wouldn't miss this for the world. 
Shoot, you should have went back to the salon, Mom. They fucked you up. <laughs> it would be most beneficial for you all to attend a family session this weekend. No. Um, not to side with Wednesday, but um, we're only here for the weekend. I know y'all can get a couple quickies in during the weekend. I love that shot. All right, Pugsley, you can't eat everywhere. Oh. I love that shot too. It's been hard not having Wednesday around. I never thought I'd miss being waterboarded so much. Waterboarded? <laughs> What's they safe word? Um. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Actually, that's potpourri. I, why don't you take the bowl? Oh, so that's not even edible. Your father did nothing wrong. I'll be the judge of that. Wow. You really just gonna let her talk back to you like that and have her still breathe? I miss you. And by community, you mean cult. We are a personal development move. Wow, these kids are freaking back talking like crazy. Whoa. Shoot, I know if it was me, if I was to back talk to my mom like that, man, I would have been knocked out. The bees miss you, Eugene. Oh, he's still alive. That's what's up. I'm happy about that. Thanks for keeping an eye on him. That boy don't got no eyes. He didn't deserve this. I mean, he don't want to be hard headed. Hmm, that's interesting. It's like each episode, she gets a little bit more personality. The suicide note says he felt guilty about an old case. It says he covered it up, faked the coroner's report, and has been living with that guilt for all these years. That's about BS, because why would he do that now? Oh, that girl getting some color into her skin now. Okay. Oh, she got some color too. God damn, Pugsley. <laughs> that shit made my stomach turn. I hope that something more morbid comes along to distract her. This is crazy, man. There's a mystery to everything. Her dad looked like a Dollar General version of Nicolas Cage. Can I ask what this is about, Sheriff? What's happening, Miss Thornhill? I have no idea. Maybe if you take them damn glasses off, you can probably see. How can I help you, Sheriff? You're under arrest for the murder of Garrett Gates. How long is the stipulations or whatever is the correct term for like a crime or something? Isn't it like 20 something years? Oh my gosh, she's so fine. <laughs> Care to explain? I'll say orange is his color. Garrett was infatuated with your mother. It all came to a head the night of the Raven Dance. Your mother and I stepped out to catch our breath. Oh, y'all just teenagers, bro. <laughs> Yo, they getting down and dirty. When I saw the sword, my survival instinct kicked in. Why would you come closer to the edge, man? I would have dipped. If I'm being objective, his confession sounds entirely plausible, delivered with the perfect degree of sincerity. Perhaps my father is exactly what he says. Thank you for being so- Come on, Wednesday. Don't have me question if this man is telling the truth or not. Damn. There's the matter of his tells, the way he smooths his mustache, the way he delivers a comforting wink. <laughs> Why would he do that? Could He's lying. That oh my God. <laughs> You are the reason I understand how imperative it is that I never lose sight of myself. Oh, that's nice. She finally says something good to her freaking dad. The coroner kills himself out of remorse for a decades old murder case the very weekend my father, your prime suspect, deigns to return to town. All I see is a guilty man who's finally gonna pay for his crime and cuffing him myself. Oh, that was the icing on the cake. Sheriff. Man, you got something against my dad, man. Is it because he still has his hair? And I gave you the DNA evidence. Did you even bother to test it? This may come as a shock, but the world doesn't revolve around you, Adams. Yes, it does. The show is named Wednesday, bitch. I'm the main character. His mother hung herself in the backyard. His father drank himself to an early grave, and even his little sister didn't escape. She was orphaned, sent overseas, ended up drowning. Every last one of them's gone. 
So your father doesn't just have Garrett's blood on his hands, he's got the whole damn families. This dude's taking this like really personal. Father packed your favorite bait. Is he gonna eat that shit? This dude eats any and everything. Oh, uh, you a cheater. <laughs> I always thought I'd be the first one in the family behind bars. Lurch and I had a bad Come going. on now, Pugsley, let's be honest. Really? Fuck out of here. <laughs> let's see if the fish are biting. They ain't gonna bite. They are definitely gonna get a concussion. It's a great shot right there. I like that. By the time I made it up the stairs, I found your father fighting for his life. It was terrifying. Derek, no! Yeah, why don't you come and help me, bitch? I'm getting my ass whooped. He was even foaming at the mouth. Oh, I thought his lips was chapped. That's true love. So why did he walk to the edge? Brain. That's stupid. I could have just ran away. You need to leave right now. Go to your room and lock the door. You were never here. You understand me? Morticia. Oh, hell no. Nah. I definitely wouldn't do nothing like that. I'm not going to jail for nobody. <laughs> this is fire. You said Garrett was foaming at the mouth. His eyes didn't look human. Foaming saliva, dilated pupils, mental confusion. What are those all textbooks? The boy was on out? drugs. And he needed to bust a nut, too. Uh, really? This reminds me of years when you later. Your first grave digging kid. He was so happy you nearly smiled. I mean, you, you could sure at least help me, Mom. Join? No, that's okay, darling. I don't want to spoil your fun. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> if you don't get your lazy ass down here. Hello, Garrett. Like, hey, what's good? You're both under arrest. Boom. You can post bail in the morning. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's stop this. The remarkable preservation of soft tissue and blue tint confirms it. Which means... Garrett was dying before you stabbed him. I don't even think that really changes anything. <laughs> Prove to me you're still worthy to be called my son. Kill all those outcasts. She would have already saw that vision when she freaking touched his body when she got the damn finger. So he had a vial of nightshade poison that broke in his pocket. He was going to use the nightshade poison to murder the entire school. That blue sheen is a telltale sign of nightshade poisoning. But you already knew that. You were in charge of the case and covered it up. He doesn't even look that old, you know? Black don't crack. Garrett went there that night to spike the punch and kill all the kids at that dance. Ansel confessed the whole thing to me in a drunken stupor. Why did you instruct Dr. Anwar to falsify the autopsy report? You knew- Because he didn't want to write all that paperwork. The dude was lazy. And because the people who are helping him with his uh, getting into mayor and stuff, they weren't, they weren't going to support him. All charges dropped. My father will be released immediately with a full and unequivocal apology from the sheriff's office. And tell the truth, bitch. Do we have a deal? Golly, both of them are so fine. I pity any boy who gets caught in her viper's gaze. But he must be a good egg. She wouldn't tolerate anything less. He has his mom to thank for that. Shoot, I wouldn't have anybody else be uh interested in my son. You already know Wednesday, she a real one. She gonna be loyal. And if anybody ever tries my son, she better freaking tear them to shreds. If I'm into Wolf Out, then I'm going to do it on my own timeline and not yours. Oh my god, does it really matter? I just hope that one day you'll finally be able to accept me for who I am. This is extra. That's Gen Z. I break all barriers. You can't tell me what to do. You do you. About damn time the dad speaks. Why is it every single time when they do something like this where the dad doesn't speak? He will speak at the end and he will just throw out some gems. <laughs> I did witness Roan getting murdered that night. Excuse me. When Roan appeared the next morning, it was you. You see, when you participated in the talent show with my mother, not only did you impersonate Judy Garland, you became her. You're a shapeshifter. R.I.P. Judy Garland, man. They did her dirty. Oh, so that's her name? <laughs> All right, everybody, that episode was so 
freaking good man one of the best episodes of the season so far i hope that y'all enjoyed it let's go ahead and get into episode six everybody let's get it i'm surprised we haven't had a seance earlier i don't hold seances very often i can barely tolerate the living sorry i didn't why would you mess up my seance girl get your colorful ass up out of here ain't it try anything and you'll lose limbs surprise happy birthday to you bro get out of here man i'm trying to work birthday to you Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Why would y'all do this when y'all know I'm in the middle of an investigation? I know you're behind this. We're wasting time. Wait, we're never eating that cake, are we? Man, that cake is probably covered with tar, man. I was told you could teach me how to control my ability. There's no controlling a raging river. I got some chapstick if you want some. Woe has some importance into the show. It has like major importance Careful. into the show. That's I gotta figure shoulder. it out. Can I at least get some kudos for pulling one over on you? The subterfuge was impressive. Was that a Lego set? Ew, that's so gross. I would have preferred live squirrels. <laughs> what is the wow, Jeffrey Dahmer so kit? I made it in your signature colors. I have one too. What is it? We can wear them together to class. Oh. The fuck? <laughs> Far too unique to wear to something like class. I suggest we wait for a more special occasion. Like your funeral. Like a funeral. Yeah! <laughs> we're, we're thinking alike. That's what I'm talking about. You still think I'm the monster? Haven't ruled it out. Yeah, well, when you change your mind and you want my help, you know where to find me. Man, I don't want your help, bitch. Fuck out of here. Always crying, man. Perfect surprise. The perfect cake. Oh my god. I hope that's strawberry. <laughs> Why are there real freaking spiders in there? Dr. Kimbod, I haven't seen you since our session with your family. What brings you here? Eugene's moms. I'm working with them. Trauma like this leaves emotional scars on the whole family. I'll leave you to it. That boy's snoring loud as hell. <laughs> Why were they lingering on them flowers? I thought something was gonna come out of the flowers. This just arrived from London. Copy of an old death certificate you requested. Okay, I see you. Thank you, Miss Secretary. You're looking good. It's perfect if you're fleeing a war-torn country on foot. Come on, don't you like a day? It's all about you. Every day is all about me. This one just yeah, comes with Yeah, I'm the main character, song. bitch. The show's called Wednesday. If I asked you out to a non-birthday song-free dinner, would that be something you're interested in? Oh my God. No, she's taken. Have you seen that before? Draw like a seven-year-old. What's that supposed to be? It's a gate, dumbass. Like, come on now. Okay, did, did I do something? Yes, you gave me that cheap ass coffee and you've been stalking me and you keep talking to me, but you barely open your mouth. After the dance, I just wanted to forget about you, but I couldn't. So I started painting and that's what came out, all right? Oh my God, you're a bitch. <laughs> I feel like it's the only time I get to see the real you. Is this your way of trying to holler at me? Like, come on, you gotta do better. Like, come on now. Even though that is nice, but no. My God. Why'd you trash the dance? I guess I was angry that my dad was humiliated on outreach day. I guess they don't have barbers in Jericho, bro. But they're not. I realized I needed to wipe the board, you know? Start over, if that makes any sense. More than you know. The girl's lips about greasy as hell, man. You did too much with that lip gloss, girl. Look like you need to be in a Shark Tale, <laughs> if any of you ever seen that movie. Oh, shit! Ah! Why would somebody run him over? And how the hell they knew he was gonna be there at that moment? Or maybe that person was racist. You could have been seriously hurt. 
or worse. I was still in the car. I was fine. I didn't Ever have my neck snap. So you're only looking out for my best interests? Always. I think we're a lot alike. We aren't. She is a freaking liar, man. She's fake. She has something to do with this. I regret not showing my gratitude towards you more appropriately. You really mean it? Take the win, Enid. If only there were a way for us to get off campus and have a little birthday redo. Just two best friends. I can't tell when she's actually being genuine and when she's using these people for her agenda. We should wear our snoods. I believe I left mine at fencing. Actually, you left yours at the weather vane. Luckily, Bianca brought it back. Like a monkey's paw. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell her you don't like it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. Damn, she brought her friend along. Wow. I thought we were going on a date. I thought this was a girl's night out. There's been a change of plans. Okay, what's up with the weird matching hoodie scarf thingies? Don't ask. Just drive. Oh, I thought that was part of her uh, fit. Cause I was just about to say that hoodie is fire. She was killing that hoodie. You guys in here? Listen, I know you're still mad about the painting, okay? But I just want to talk to you for a second. Bro, get your bitch ass up away from me. Yo, this dude stalks me too much. He knew how to get into my room. The Gates family. There's Garrett, his outcast hating father, Ansel. And you must be Laurel. They're all long gone. Yo, maybe the therapist might be one of them. Seen enough? I mean, you can take your scary ass back to the car. Who doesn't have a spooky built-in altar in their family library? Ours is in the living room. Yo, don't tell them your secrets. Come on now, Wednesday. We're still warm. <laughs> All right, Tyler, you check the rest of the ground floor. Enid and I will search upstairs. Hell no, man, we're not splitting up. Heck, you think this is an early 2000s movie? The bed's made. No dust or cobwebs. I knew the daughter was still alive. And it's the freaking therapist, like I said. <laughs> oh my God. Let's go. Oh my goodness. This show is on point. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hope you didn't pee yourself, girl. Come on now. You're a werewolf. Get it together. Yeah, you a werewolf, man. Why don't you go out there and fight him? I understand you can't turn to a werewolf, but still, you got some werewolf abilities. Wednesday, what is that going to do? <laughs> Yo, I'm loving this shoe. Is that a face and a foot? What are you doing? Did I get some evidence? Missing from the monster's victims. Come on. I hope she got one of the body parts. Where'd you come from? Of course, he shows up. Take this. What happened to him? I think he has something to do with this too, but he's not the monster though. The, the, the body parts? Oh, I hate when stuff like this happens. The bedroom filled with fresh roses. Oh, no, it's all gone now. Somebody cleared this place out after we left. I didn't even think that monster would have had control like this. Now you listen to me. From this point forward, you are forbidden from seeing Tyler and you are forbidden from pursuing anything to do with this case, understood? Man, what you gonna do, bitch? I'm the main character. I can do whatever I want. But I don't wanna see your bitch ass son. He the one who keep trying to talk to me. I think I deserve another chance. Please. No, this girl did not just say please. Wednesday. I'm shocked. One more step out of line and you will be expelled. No ifs, no buts. Enid and Xavier are spared as well. No more negotiation. I guess she forgot who shows this is. <laughs> what 
Where are you going? Yoko's room. Thornhill said I could crash there for a few nights. You leaving me? I already apologized. Tonight was just the icing on the birthday cake you couldn't even be bothered to cut. Cause who wanted to eat that nasty ass shit? Y'all ain't no damn well y'all can't cook or bake. All these extra clues, man. But I won't be intimidated and I will never give up. That's a nice photo. We all seem to be connected like a spider's web. And when Mayor Walker got too close to the truth, he was silenced. Yo, that composer is going off. Oh, this is probably one of my favorite episodes out of the season so far, man. But let's go ahead and get to episode seven, y'all. Let's get it. Oh, I thought they were about to play the Nirvana song that was in Batman. What if I lied? What if I I've never been to a funeral when it was raining. There go that monster. She even looks like the monster. I must look past the tears and masks of grief. Until now, I may have been outmatched. You see her face? You see how she was looking at the freaking grave? She's like, yeah, that'll teach you to keep your mouth shut. Girl, you didn't have them damn moon boots. You probably would catch up to them. I like that fit. Still as sharp as ever, my pigtailed protege. Uncle Fester. Wow, she really smiled. Oh, set the bald guy. Yo, I didn't think we was gonna see him in this show. Just blew into town this morning and was hit by a wave of nostalgia. I had a feeling it was the dude from SNL. That's actually good casting. I like a hideout that comes with snacks. Those bees are hibernating. They're practically Eugene's children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that means do not eat them. I had a feeling he was gonna eat them. <laughs> Shoot, they're ripe. Hakuna Matata. We'll sneak into the Nightshade's library tonight. In the meantime, lay low. Oh my, that dude's bald. He can't lay low. Leave the bees alone. <laughs> He's gonna eat those bees. Come on, you can't stop him. Then on outreach day, you arrived at the meeting house just minutes after the monster had disappeared, yet you say you didn't see it. proximity was a crime then there's your drawing obsession mm. see look now you want to run away because for some reason i cannot fathom or indulge you seem to like me what's to like i mean look at that bone structure bro look at her face this shit is gorgeous look at her lips oh my goodness she need to get her hair rebraided but her hair looks nice she's got pretty eyes i'd recognize the pattern of those fingertips anywhere Thing. You can't still be mad about the Kalamazoo job. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> You're making too much noise. <laughs> Faulkner describes hides as artists by nature, but equally vindictive in temperament. This act causes the hide to develop an immediate bond with its liberator, who the creature now sees as its master. Oh. That means I'm not looking for one killer, but two. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm just going with like all of the movies and TV shows. Whenever they show a character like this teacher right here who seems so innocent, but she keeps showing up a lot, she might be like involved. I thought she was just gonna be a cameo, but no, she's been in the show a lot. So obviously she has some play in this. Did you place a tracker? What? I picked it up on my way out of town. You know me, I like to travel incognito. <laughs> This is not incognito, but okay. <laughs> See, I knew it. There you go. The two culprits. Or right, now we just need the teacher to show up. By traumatic event or unlocked through chemical inducement or hypnosis. Hmm. She must have figured out he was a hide and used hypnotherapy to unlock him. That would explain their secret sessions. Yo. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, it's nice to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Damn, you nosy man. Get back to work. Aren't you on the clock? Your father gave you explicit instructions not to be near me. I mean, you the one who came to this restaurant or the cafe. 
What'd I say? Huh. Yo, this dude fast. How can anybody miss his bald head? <laughs> Easy. Right here. How do you even holler at a girl like Wednesday? You open your eyes now. What is this? No one's ever taken you on a picnic inside a crypt before. How do you feel about scary movies? Prepare to be horrified. That's crazy, man. Turns up. It's a little after 12. <laughs> Legally blind. <laughs> hey! Legally blind, I that was the last reaction I did when I was drunk. Okay, don't hate me. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I want us to be more than friends. Wow, on the first date? This dude doing way too much on the first date. No! <laughs> Damn, I was like really hoping this would not happen in this show. I was hoping there was not gonna be any like love interest. Oh my God, no, nothing. Yo, who would kill Thing, bro? They deserve to die. Help, 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 Thing's not moving. He was stabbed. Dude, we about to see this girl cry. You need to stitch that cut up. I like how she's going about this whole situation. You can see how she's like really trying to fight it. He's gone Wednesday. No, 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 keep trying, no, please, keep not. trying. If you die, I will kill you. Now, again, please! Bro, you can't kill Thing, man. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Bro, I would've been pissed if they killed Thing, man. your motorbike so the sheriff won't be far you need to go it's like every episode just gets better and better man young minds of outcasts until you found one that you can manipulate to exact your revenge you know what i don't have time to deal with your delusional fantasies of course when they're guilty they always want to run away i know all about the secret sessions you've been holding in your car i also found the cave in the woods where you've been holding sessions to unlock his hide Come on, pig nose bitch. You Tell me the truth. So, I'm going to recommend you stay in a juvenile psychiatric facility for observation. Of course you're gonna have me do that. Cause you don't want me to keep going with this case. Got her ass. <laughs> don't have me feel stupid and be like, no, it wasn't her. Dr. Kemba. Man, don't do this mess, bro. They're gonna freaking kill her to throw us off the track. boy came in like you snitching bitch oh beautiful shot how long have you been seeing kinbot have you what am i saying of course you have you've been spying on me right and you've been stalking me too are you serious don't be trying to say this like you're any better feels like you really loved it what is roan's inhaler doing in your shed are you Jean's glasses? Whoa, whoa. Somebody planted those there to freaking uh, frame him. I actually believe that somebody planted that, but he still has something to do with this. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Appreciate the help, Adams. You what you better do, start bitching? We're closed. Then you should lock your doors. Dad told me what happened to Xavier. That guy always seems so normal. It has made me reevaluate things. I would be really surprised if this dude has something to do with this whole thing, man. Like who I can trust. Does that mean you're ready to be more than friends? Hell no. Nah. The fuck? Are you listening? Please don't kiss him. I don't want to see this. No, please. No!
is some bullshit. Whoa, hey. a feeling bro i said it right before it happened of course the first boy i kissed would turn out to be a psychotic serial killing monster that's perfect right type damn bro i wish they didn't kiss each other that kiss was like kind of passionate and stuff man they like really had me feel some type of way but hey let's go ahead and get into episode eight everybody <laughs> let's get it they didn't give me your note but when you kissed me you opened my eyes and suddenly it all made sense savior warned me about you but i didn't listen because he was a bitch i mean you are you really gonna listen to a bitch the night of the raven you overheard eugene and me discussing your cave in the woods and you warned kim bot i have to hand it to you tyler wounding yourself that night at the gates mansion that was a master stroke of misdirection yeah now you just made her more defensive in trusting other people and get into a relationship yes bravo thank you would you risk bringing me out to the woods to confront me alone you said i was so i can whoop your ass finally she ain't got no glasses on you're coming with us oh yeah i wanted to see her powers do you recognize her Perhaps if I hadn't been so distracted by my own mother hogging this photo, I would have noticed yours sooner. Yeah, your ugly ass mama. Don't worry, I won't leave a mark. Wednesday? Hold on. Wait. Hey, oh, I love you this. Being serious? There's Hell no yeah, bitch! You was assigned to the assignment. Paint. That's it. I'm out. Already? Okay, well, you you're gonna go get your sunglasses? Man, y'all quit like that. Everything. Weems won't help. And Tyler here is always one step ahead of his father. Then you're on your own. Shit, fine. It's my show anyway. It's called Wednesday. Not Wednesday and Friends. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Danny Elfman did the score for this whole show? That's what's up. I believe the trauma of losing his mother may have left Tyler with deeper psychological. Damn, bro, this show really got me, man. I really thought the therapist was a part of this whole thing. They got snitch on me. It's like that. Get away from my son. Drop it. Drop it. Damn, I wanted to see her torture this boy. What does it feel like? What does what feel like? To lose. <laughs> okay, man. You tell me I don't hear this man. But over time, I started to remember the sound of their screams. You have no idea what's coming. So, how did you injure yourself when we were in the house? So he does have control over this. I, I had a feeling. <laughs> Do not be scared. Come on now. The show's called Wednesday, not Corporate whatever quote, his name is. Brown shirt. We don't put on de deodorant. You do realize that Tyler brutally disemboweled six people, then harvested a variety of their body parts for good measure. Perhaps if you'd come to me with your suspicions rather than taking matters into your own hands, we could have worked together. Oh, yes. You wouldn't have done shit, except changed into another great outfit. Does anybody besides the Medusa guy know anything about showers? Seems like everybody wears the exact same outfit. She was a student here. You must remember her. She was a hide. Yes, Francois, she was a lovely woman. I didn't ask what she identified as. Well, then give me more time and I can Yeah, I mean, yeah, they, they wasn't doing that back then in the 90s or the 80s. I'm sure your mother will be very disappointed. And so am I. For real? So she is like Severus Snape. I know you're not the Hyde. Tyler used me to frame you. He is the actual Hyde. I mean, you're still a bitch, though. I saw it in a vision when he kissed me. I'm glad you were getting some action while I was falsely accused. Oh my God, bro. See, this is why I don't, I would just leave you here. I'm gonna go. Like, God, leave you a bitch. I shed some light on this you situation. You my help. I'm trying to rescue you. You ruined my life. So fine, I'm your friend. You're the one who's stalking me with your sorry ass. I tried being your friend. Look where that got me. This isn't about us, Savior. No, it's about you. Every time you get involved, people get hurt. All you ever do is make things worse. You call her toxic? I mean, she is somewhat toxic, but it's of a different definition. But come on now. Something bad was coming. No, I think that this you've already shown me that. I don't care. Do you want to stop this? Then leave. 
go far away and never come back. Fine, if you want to get fucked up you in your say? ass, then all right, that's fine with me. That I don't give a damn. It's your sure. life. Leave. You think you're doing something? He was like, "Yeah, I, I've been practicing this for days. Been waiting for you to show up." Show your man. I can't believe I'm actually gonna miss your creepy, lifeless eyes waking me up every morning. It won't be the same without <laughs> you. <laughs> talking to me or the squirrel? The plan wasn't to get you expelled. I should whoop all your asses. I don't really remember any of it. I just saw someone wearing black and those boots. What about her boots? See, they snitched. They said her. Yep, told you it was the teacher. Wednesday. What you doing with that poison right there? I should have known it was you. Faking your death. Especially with that fake ass wig. So I assume he told you all about the Galpin family secret when you were just a girl. That's why you targeted Tyler. You manipulated him by showing him what his mother truly was. Now what Tyler didn't realize is that the truth wouldn't free him. I'm so sorry. She must have get into some good ass head. <laughs> She's just touching all over this man. This girl is a freaking pervert. You were never getting on that train. I sent Tyler to intercept you. I never made it to the station. Heard enough? Oh, <laughs> Yo, okay, that's a surprise. Get out of here. Are you serious? Principal Weeps. Principal Weeps. You tell me you that tall, but you ain't got no reflexes? I wonder what she's gonna wear for her funeral. Was it gonna be gray? Nightshade poisoning. A fitting end, don't you think? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, girl. Yo, yo. It could be dangerous. If Enid's right and Wednesday's being taken, we need to call the sheriff. Mom, I've got to go. Wednesday's my only friend, and if she's in trouble, I've got to help her. What the hell you gonna do? Explain B history to him? This is going to explain B anatomy. B anatomy. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I got like one more sip, I think. Kind of a deja vu thing we got going on, huh? Tyler, go wait by the boat. Yes. Listen to your master and be a good little hide. Who the hell you think you bumping? Hold on, bro. I'm the main character. I can get out of these chains if I want to. I'm just playing along with y'all. So you come from a line of psychotic killers, too? Joseph Crackstone was a visionary dedicated to protecting normies from outcasts until his life was cut short by your ancestor, Goody Adams. That's amazing. We got Wednesday versus Wednesday, man. Tyler's been collecting all of these body parts to resurrect Crackstone. The one man who nearly succeeded in eradicating the outcasts. You can't wake the dead. Yo, what the fuck? Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> just had a bug just come out of nowhere, man. It just scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> Is she gonna scream? I'll be really surprised if she screams. Come on, I'm a Wednesday. Like, you should have did a better job when it comes to locking me up. What? Dude looked like Frankenstein if he was going to the club. Of course he's a freaking mage. You will suffer the same fate you bequeathed me. What? <laughs> Yo, this show is fire, man. I never thought that I would see Wednesday in so many different states. Thing and I will go look for Wednesday. Okay. Nightshades forever. Now, I did see something on Twitter or whatever, and you know how Twitter is, man. They bitch about every freaking thing. Some people were upset that the black girl was the villain. 
And I'm just like, come on, bro. Like, why are y'all upset that the black person is the villain? And I had somebody actually come at me once on YouTube being upset that they had a black dude playing Kang for the Avengers and all this stuff, and he's a villain. And I'm like, bro, you are doing way too much. Like, I'm just happy that black people are getting these roles that we wouldn't necessarily get and that we're getting more exposure and it's helping the industry. But y'all just want black people to be the good guys every freaking time. It, it doesn't matter. It's called acting like y'all trying to ruin everything. Y'all already ruined comedy. Like, damn. How the hell did you get here? That is in plot armor. I don't know what is. Are you tracking your little monster? You shut up. <laughs> you get a microchip in your kid. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, hey, what about me? What? Nobody gives a damn about you, bitch. Shut up, always crying. Uh, oh, she's turning into a werewolf. Hell yeah, I can't wait to see this. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> you. She's about to be going crazy. I'm hype. Like a cockroach. Please, flattery will get you nowhere. Really? But you was trying to freaking smash this cockroach. Nasty self. Boy, you ugly. That's what I'm talking about, girl. Came in clutch. No. Oh, drop kick. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. I love thing. This dude got magical powers and he isn't using them in this fight. I will send you back to hell. If only thing was here, man. What else can we do? Yo, it's the black girl coming to save the day. You're a siren. Manipulate him. Yo, if y'all had headphones, his screams were freaking terrifying. But it was it was that easy? You brought a gun to a sword fight. What is this, 1942? What type of today. gun is that? I might not get to kill all the outcasts, but at least I'll get to kill you, Wednesday. You just mad that they recast you? I mean, that's just the world, man. <laughs> I do not want to see her all bumped up, man. That's what you get for messing with Nevermore. Yo, you got powers? Hummer stick together, right? What? How can I see you, Eugene? Respect. Oh, she hugged her. What? I really thought she was about to knock her out. <laughs> This show has some amazing character growth. I hate to admit, but I am gonna miss Principal Weems. She could be a real pain, but she was tough. And she died for the one thing she truly loved, this school. I got a question for y'all. Would y'all rather go to Hogwarts or go to Nevermore, man? Really? What is this? Stalker. <laughs> Maybe this forced vacation will be more interesting than I imagined. You really gave somebody my number? Or Laurel, Gates, and Tyler just pawns in a bigger game? Will today's stalker become tomorrow's nemesis? I know the suspense is killing you. 
That's why you should have killed him. Great first season, man. Really didn't think this show was going to be that good. I hope that y'all enjoyed it, man. Please like, share, comment, and below, subscribe. Click the bell so you know when I upload more videos. And follow me on all my social medias. Links will be down in the description below. All right, everybody. Here we go. Wednesday. Really good. I, I really like the performances. The thing that really intrigued me the most and was probably the best part of this show was the story. The fact that i love mystery like movies and shows ever since i saw the movie the prisoners or i think it's just prisoners i was just having a blast watching this show trying to guess exactly who it is i never thought that it was going to be the guy who was really into her that was in the cafe so that threw me off and general ortega did a fantastic job but i hope that you enjoyed watching this reaction as in enjoying this show uh if you would like you can follow me on all my social medias links will be down in the description below and if you'd like to see my full length reaction to this show any other shows i do the movies i do you can click the link down below in the description to my patreon and i think it was also fun Fun, me watching this particular show drunk as well <laughs> i will go ahead and give this show a, a minus man so far when it comes to this season i would love to hear y'all thoughts and with all that being said i'll give y'all i don't even know what the hell i'm talking about <laughs> but with all that being said i'll see you on the next one all right peace